Kids form a human arrow to point police choppers towards suspects on the run. What kind of snitch a children of the corn type stuff? Police are losing the criminal. Quick, link up! Like, no, no, pointing's overrated. Let's do what the Transformers do. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We'll go back in the r slash rare insults because I'm just getting around to reading the comments on the video that came out a few weeks ago. Not this past one, but the one before that. And I gotta say, I love all the support that everybody has said. Like, hey, they want to see more stuff like this, me being a good little shit. And honestly, I really was having fun with that. So yeah, I'd like to do this in the future. And very much the algorithm is one of the deciding factors in that. So if you guys do actually want to see more videos like this, like and comment down below because that engagement is absolutely appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification. I love being a witty little shit and I appreciate the crap out of you guys for letting me be a witty little shit. If you were the trophy at the end of my race, I would walk backwards. I, yeah, no, don't, don't try to get witty with Judge Judy very much. She is like me, but in the legal system. She's also like the only reality show judge that I will actually like openly be excited to see just because of stuff like this coming up. Shut up, cracker. Ma'am, respectfully, you're about as bright as a black hole and twice as dense. <laughs> yeah, it's been a hot minute since I had the phrase denser than dark matter flash through my head. It must have been a sad day when you slid that out the deletion bucket. God damn, you killed him in COD, so he killed you back. Sorry, emo girls, but Andy Beersack isn't that hot. He looks like if Sheldon had an emo face. Ah, great, I'm not gonna be able to unsee that. Fantastic. George Carlin said, think of how stupid the average person is, and then realize half of them are stupider than that. What real life example have you seen that validates this view? There is a considerable overlap between the intelligence of the smartest bears and the dumbest Taurus, Yosemite Park Ranger, on why it's hard to design a bear proof garbage can. I mean, honestly, for me, I just work retail. People don't know what store they walked in, even though they walked past two 40 foot wide signs saying such. And God forbid the amount of times people get stumped at the card reader. That just means we're going downhill. Sir, you're not a telepath. Looking at it is not going to get it to work, you piece of. This man looks like if Disney Prince grew up in a bad neighborhood. Oh, don't don't worry. There, there's a whole comment section of this. Uno momento. No one does coke like Gaston. Floats bad checks like Gaston. When it comes to crip walking, no one limps like Gaston. For there's no drug dealer in town quite like Gaston. You can ask any Clyde Gus or De I don't know how the rest of the song goes, but this goes on for a bit. <laughs> There would have been music there, but I looked it up and the mouse would have had a chokehold on me and I don't like that. My daughters used to look up to Malia Obama, but not anymore. I won't let my kids look up to that ghetto addict mess. Ma'am, if your daughter inherits your neck, she won't be able to look up to anything. Baby boomers did that thing where you leave a single square of toilet paper on the roll and pretend it's not your turn to change it, but with a whole society. Yeah, no, you know for a fact this dude's not wrong. Probably also the same type of generation that would leave the empty ketchup bottle in the fridge and then make the ketchup bottle and the TP 10 times as expensive to replace now. In Halo, a small wrist attached grappling hook is able to latch a 1000 kilogram suit of armor onto a 150 kilogram alien without moving it. This simply shouldn't be possible in real life. Yeah, you should have been shoved into more lockers in high school. I honestly kind of like some of these tangents that Neil goes on because I remember him saying something how like Mjolnir weighs the equivalent of a herd of 300 million elephants or something like that. And I don't know, some of that's cool, but yeah, you getting that from Halo themselves. What the crap? Please roast me. Girl, you'll look roasted enough. Amazing. Roast me back. What did the two say to the dine? Please roast me, <laughs> you mother. Ma'am, you need to kind of understand about what you just said there. You quite literally asked for it. You have no room to complain now. There's cat fitching, and then there's whatever the heck this is. What a weird way to announce to the world that you've never had a girl sleep over. Yeah, no, dude, you just think, don't, don't act like that. You're gonna think you're slick, but in reality, you're just catching yourself in 4K. We are thinking of Bo today, as he is in surgery, I want to apologize to the cleft community. Ah yes, you mean the community that you blatantly made fun of? Yeah, great job, Wendy. Who is she to talk about someone? She looks like E.T. when he was dressed up by little Drew Barrymore. Don't believe me? Google E.T. dressed up. I feel at this point there could just be a whole subreddit devoted to roasting the crap out of Wendy Williams and I not even know about it, but the second I do find it, I'm a coming for yous. Wendy Williams looks like the picture definition of if you can't take it, don't 
cold spray it. Because, you know, just a wonderful thing where people can spout all of the nonsense they want, but the second you happen to say quite literally the exact same thing, just flipped around, good old energy manipulation and all that jazz, oh no, that's too much. The spread of the beer virus is based on two factors. One, how dense the population is, and two, how dense the population is. You wrote the same thing twice. What is the other one? Yeah, you're number two. Don't try to go onto an internet forum if you don't know what they're fully talking about, thinking you can act smart. You're just gonna make yourself look more stupid than people thought you could get, and that's a, still a wonderful discovery that you could reach that low. You look like the type of guy to go to a Mexican restaurant with his two kids and his wife Jessica, and at the end say, Welp, you kiddos ready to vaminos? Look, I know I didn't say it right. I was just saying it accurate to how Dingbat here looks, and very very much you know for a fact his wife be asking for the quesadilla. Sorry to say this, uh, but this is hashtag not my Ariel. I'm not racist, but this out of my expectations. Fatima, you can't even pick your own husband. What makes you think you can pick your own Ariel? God, you did not need to do that. <laughs> You look like one of those advisor NPCs in a city building game. Though you look like John Cena from a bad dystopian corporate timeline. My ex would not pay $35 to Uber to me. The boy I've been talking to paid over $800 for a plane ticket to see me for three days. Moral of the story is know your worth. You'll get your worth. The grass is in fact greener on the other side. Yeah, the guy talking to you paid to bang you. The guy who was bang and you earlier already knew it wasn't worth $35. Those of you who've walked out on first dates, what was your I'm out of here moment? She immediately started talking about how her ex would regularly have S with her without a rubber, how he cheated on her and she couldn't afford an STD test, and then went on to say, I wasn't like other guys because I wasn't interested in S, but then immediately started poking my crotch to see if I was horny. Though that girl didn't display a red flag, she was an entire Soviet parade. I mean, honestly, the main red flag for me is if somebody is paying more attention to their phone than the actual date in itself, or if they have a history of cheating. Those usually are the red flags for me, but uh, not, not, not for you, dude. Just, you know. Run, bitch! Run! People from Wyoming are in my mentions insulting me for dissing the state yesterday, and I'm just imagining them furiously riding a horse to a McDonald's in Utah just so they could get Wi-Fi and tweet at me. Yeah, you gotta watch out. You miss around, you're gonna get the wrong yee haulings. I'm notifying all of my old boyfriends that I'm getting married and I am officially off the market. Uh, yeah, yes, I'm sure the pulse setting on your shower head will be devastated. All right, I gotta rewatch Scrubs now. Off this alone. If your child puts his slash her hand in the toppings, you'll have to pay for the entire container. Thank you. The ones offended by the sign are the type of parents who have kids that smell like hot dog water. What do you mean my kid can't ruin your product? Look ma'am, just because your husband couldn't pull out doesn't mean you can't pull your kid's hand out of the topping area. Please just be a good parent for once. Kale, nobody told me dookie with my do-rag on. You look like the hood angel who came back to tell his homie that the street's not worth it. Sir, why do you think that just because you have something on your head, that means that people can't have an opinion on you? Speaking of angels and heavenly shit though, I do want to see a biblically accurate dum-dum. Bacteria is a living thing, and a virus isn't. You cannot catch a virus. The only way to catch one is if it is injected into your body. Spoiler alert. Yeah, your teacher always handed your test back to you face down, huh? Yeah, so two inches murder hornets are big, but my two inches are small. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one stings with the pain and the other one with disappointment. Yeah, also, when you get stung by a frickin' hornet, you don't have to ask, is it in yet? Also, while you're at it, you might as well change that username from Two Pump Chump to Two Inch Grinch. A woman shoots a man 17 times, and by miracle, no shots hit the target. A woman looks like she's trying to watch her singular brain cell bounce around in her skull. Also, I want to talk to the people that made that article. I know for a fact it had to have been either two situations. First off, being two separate people made that article, won the title, won the picture, and they didn't ever get to meet, and then the third person just lumped it together thinking, hey, wouldn't this be funny? Juwan Howard looks like someone tried to draw Will Smith from memory. Honestly, I would love to see a police sketch-up go if he ever happens to go on the lambs. Like, all right, well, we're looking for the perpetrator. Well, he kind of looks like Will Smith. 
Jawan Howard, isn't it? Dude, you look like Jimmy Neutron with maxed out stats. Oh, you mean the episode where they all got superpowers? Amazon says it was not price gouging during the pandemic when it sold toilet paper for $36. The photo of Bezos looks like an artist recreation from the bones found of an ancient ruler. I mean, for me, it just looks like a wax model that was made in the Uncanny Valley, but that's just me. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.